Smile, smile, smile. Tickle, 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 tickle. When I was seven, my mom was diagnosed with leukemia. It was stage three, so it was pretty serious right away. While she was staying in the hospital, something that me and my two younger sisters really loved to do was write cards and draw pictures for her. So every day after school, we would come home and make just piles of pictures. And we'd write like, I love you and all that stuff. She would plaster them all over her hospital walls so that they were more colorful. And she always said that even when we couldn't be there, that felt like we were still there. When I was 10, my mom unfortunately lost her battle with cancer. Ever since then, I kind of vowed to myself that I was going to make this terrible thing in my life something positive out of it. I just really wanted to find a way to help people who are going through something similar as my mom was. So I remembered what me and my sisters did for my mom, which was making cards and drawings and stuff, and got the idea to start a club at my school where students and teachers could come down and make cards and we would donate them to the children's hospital. So that's kind of how Letters of Love all started. <laughs> Letters of Love is an organization where kids support other kids who are in children's hospitals around the world. We make cards and tie blankets and bracelets for the sole purpose of emotionally supporting kids. Making a card for someone can seriously change their life. It can make their entire day and getting to talk to people who Letters of Love has impacted is like seriously the best feeling ever. <laughs> A lot of them have like cried when they've gotten cards and they've just all been so grateful for it. It just makes my heart so happy. <laughs> Due to COVID, there's just so many risks with people coming in and out of hospitals now that a lot of kids aren't able to see their parents and their friends and family and that kind of thing. We really wanted to find a way to let those kids know that the whole community is still fighting for them and supporting them, loving them during this crazy time. So we've been asking people to send us in just a short video with a few encouraging words. And it's kind of blown up a little bit to see the community all come together and how many videos we're getting from so many people who just, you know, want to help. It's, it's really cool. People don't really understand how far the smallest acts of kindness can go. For my mom, getting cards was like one of her favorite ways of being supported. For young people who don't have the money to donate to things or think they're too young to make a difference, you are never too young to make a difference or too old. You can really change the world with small acts of kindness.